G'day my friends, can you guess where Pete's taking you today? Have a guess guys, Shanty Town, West Coast, South Island, New Zealand. Yeah! Just follow me guys and we'll go and have a great adventure today. Anyway guys, same as usual, if you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it. So my friends, let's go and have a look, eh? <laughs> I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. Yeah, I, I just can't find it. Hee hee. Shanty Town. Hello. G'day, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> Have you been here before? Well, many, many moons ago, oh, mate. I used to live on the coast. Oh, yes. Yeah. And shift it off. Yeah, as everyone does normally, yes, eh? Yes, they do. <laughs> just yeah. one for me, thanks, mate. Excellent. Where have you travelled from? Oh, just Christchurch. Oh, over the hill. What's a uh, family pass worth, mate? Oh, golden, if you want a pan, 109. 109, you get yeah. some gold. You do get some gold, guaranteed. How many ounces are you allowed to take oh, home? No, <laughs> couldn't tell you that. That's a trade secret. <laughs> Look at these bloody coasters, they won't tell you anything, eh? <laughs> Thanks, mate. Deep. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> See ya. So, guys, cost me 39 bucks to get in here. You heard what the lady said. So, you can go gold panning and all sorts of things with a family pass for what well, was it, 100 odd bucks. So there you go, it's a good day's entertainment, I suppose. Look at the old trains here, guys. Oh, look at that water wheel. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at that. Doesn't take much to amuse old Pete. Oh, that's a huge wheel, man. Look at that. Imagine relying on that as your power source. Awesome, man. I'm getting wet, guys. We'll go on that train later, guys. <laughs> I love trains, I love trains. What have we got here? The waiting room for the train. Public phones. Wow. You had to come to a building like this to use the telephone. No such thing as cell phones in those days, guys. Wow. And look at that. I actually remember some of these phones. You could have any colour you wanted as long as it was black and it was made out of Bakelite. Look at the old switchboards there, guys. No such thing as computerised in those days. They normally had a lady and it was normally a lady as well who would sit there all day and push one plug into another plug to get different numbers. Wow. What a boring job that would have been. So now we've got the main streets. Pretty cool looking up here guys, that looks pretty sort of original. What have we got in here? Well, I haven't been here for years mate, so I don't even know what's here. Wow, imagine wearing that ladies. Wow we even in the summer I'd say you'd have to wear that. <laughs> Picture theatre, dead man tell no tales, alright. West Coast Mineral Hall. Oh we've got a cool general store here guys. Look at that. Petrol kerosene iron. <laughs> wow, why's the health and safety with that these days? My god. Bread warmers. The old tin baths that the kids used to have a bath in by the fireside. Look at the old toaster. Wow. Health and safety on that as well. That's amazing. Ooh, gee, that's even more freaking amazing that one. Look at that. My god, imagine that to these days. Early toasters is alright. My golly yeah. Look at that. Good way to fry yourself. Old wooden refrigerator made in Glasgow. A wooden fridge, my god. Can't get into it obviously. A wooden fridge, wow. Didn't read the sign, did I? <laughs> Butter churn. Aren't you doing that for a job? Churning that handle all day. What's in this one? Woo! And all sorts of tins. Edmunds baking powder. Wow. How life is so different these days, my friends. What have we got over here? 1898. Originally erected, wow. Ruby rock, greenstone. Look at the patterns on that, guys, wow. So you wouldn't think that was inside that rock, would you? Look at that. I'm not really into rocks, guys. Got rocks in my head, that's about all. Got tobacco and hairdressers, I could do with a haircut myself. You go here, barber. Look at that old barber's chair. Hey. Yeah, all the short back and sides. Just trim up the fringe, guys. <laughs> modern technology, guys, modern technology. I bet you they were really good at their trade too, fixing shoes and making shoes. I think they'd leave the modern ones to shame. Who's that? Oh, it's me. Greymouth Evening Star newspaper. And that's been going for a few years. And look at the old presses and that sort of thing, guys. Imagine setting out type like that. Wow, we no such thing as a keyboard and computers in these days. Well, look at this. All the letters and the steps there. My God. 
probably only put out about 50 pages an hour as well. Woohoo! The labour intensive jobs, guys. Oh, this looks like me, shanty to jail. Oh, that gave me a hoo of a fright, someone in there. Let's have a look. Oh, there's your local carpenter making the coffin. They've got a treadle lathe there. You treadle it with your foot and do your wood turning. Wow, is that amazing or is that amazing? Imagine living back in these days, everything would be such a chore. No wonder people only lived till they were about 50. It was just worn out. Oh, we've got the stockade here. Spear the rod and spoil the child. These are the days where you used to belt your kids. <laughs> what do we got out here, my friends? Like an old schoolhouse, is it? Couldn't get a more perfect day here, guys. Yep, thought it looked like an old schoolhouse. With the old slates, the old blackboard. Don't see many laptops here, do you? Well, that's the equivalent of a laptop in the 1800s, a slate. And I think you'd be bloody lucky even to have a slate. Where there's a will, there's a way. Well, that's certainly for sure. All the hats lined up there and the little satchels. <laughs> I think in those days the kids loved going to school because it was their way to get out of hard labour, I would have thought. Now you can't get the bloody kids to go to school. So what have we got over here? We've got the Shantytown Jail. Well, that looks something like where I should be. Let's have a look. Robber's Roost. We've got the stockade here. That's where they used to stick you and throw rotten eggs and tomatoes at you. Or if you're unlucky, bricks. Oh, look at that ball and chain there, guys. Who we got in, in the jail cell today, guys? Oh, dear. I wonder what he did. He certainly doesn't look the best. Daily rations for a male prisoner during hard labour, 1868. 8 ounces of oatmeal, 20 ounces of bread, 12 ounces of meat, 16 ounces of potatoes, 1 ounce of sugar, half an ounce of salt, and half an ounce of soap. Woo! -hoo! Early versions of the handcuffs, guys. And here's the cell. And here we've got the local four murderers. And they look pretty sort of aggressive looking fellas, don't they? All four of these fellas were born in London and being transported to Tasmania in 1840 for robbing a shop. Freed in 1853, he headed for the gold fields. Thomas Noon, born in London to Irish parents. He was 15 years old and convicted when convicted of robbing a shop and transported to Tasmania. Wow, well, well, pretty hard, <laughs> pretty hard sort of life. The short stay long drop. That's what we had before we had flush toilets. We actually had a long drop toilet when I lived on the west coast many, many moons ago, before we changed it to a flush, of course, because we were really posh by that stage. At the old shanty town fire station. <laughs> Look, the uh, 1866-1867. Wow, that's early, isn't it? Look at this. How the hell would you put out a fire with that? You'd be better just to piss on it. By the time you rounded up the horses and you filled your tank and you actually got to the fire, there'd be nothing left. What do we got here, my friends? What do we got here? Woohoo! We've got a butchery. Look at that. So you used to buy your meat. Look at that, we've got a sheep hanging up there. Wow, no such things as freezers, eh? Just come down here and whack a lump off a cattle beast or a lump off a sheep and you're away. Nice and quiet here today, guys. A few people around, but it's quite a big place, so you don't really get bothered too much if you don't like crowds. What have we got in here? Oh, pocket watches, jewelers. Cool. A cutter for unbreakable glass. That's a bit of an oxymoron. We've got the Bank of New Zealand. Don't need, do we even have a bank in New Zealand anymore? Oh, look at this. The ledges. <laughs> Pretty awesome, eh? Can you see all those computers and that in the corner there? You would have had to have actually been able to count to work here as well. Not like in today's banks. What have we got over here? Man, she's a gorgeous day here, guys. Just really gorgeous. Wouldn't be dead today for quits. Oh, we've got some sort of little cannon here. That's a uh, drowning of the steamer heck. Kiss, kiss. What do we got here? Uh, livery and and bait stables. Okay. Jim traveling around New Zealand on a buggy like that it would take you frick of river to get anywhere. But if you didn't know any different, you didn't know any different, I suppose. It was just a way of life. This one here was a 
a form of sporty open carriage popular in the late 18th and early 19th century drawn by one or two horses woohoo so that's the sports car model got the shantytown hospital here let's go and have a look see what the medical situation was like in the 1800s eh? registered ladies nurse surgery is it here who looks pretty foreboding looking couch isn't it look at that medical books up there in case you don't know what the diseases are coming in the door some really horrible looking instruments here but you can get inducted with those things yeah. catheters look at those catheters wow wouldn't want one of them stuck in here would you hmm. ultra modern hospital ward look at this sort of a heart lung machine thing here look at that my god imagine it's stuffed in that thing Ooh. imagine that guys yeah look at that imagine having your head just stuck out of there and then you're in here imagine that you can stick that you can stick that guys positive negative pressure Ooh. Never the wheelchair. My giddy aunt. I keep seeing these things behind the curtains and doors, they give me the shits. Consumption. A preventable disease. Ew. Look at this early x ray machine. <laughs> I wonder how much zap they gave you then. Wow. Imagine being stuck in that thing. You get zapped, you'd be like you're stuck in a bloody microwave. Got your milliamps there and see how much they're going to electrocute you. <laughs> Turn up the voltage. <laughs> Cauterizing machine. Ugh. I'm not sure I know what that is. Put in the comments if you know what that is, guys. A drainage pump. Well, that sounds disgusting, doesn't it? And this here looks like it's some sort of autopsy table. I think that is an autopsy table. Because it's got the drain here. Oh, here you go. It wasn't that far wrong, was I? It's an embalming table. Yeah, used for autopsies and embalming. Temporary body storage. The deceased for a funeral and teaching purposes at medical schools. Yuck. Wonder how much crap's flowing down that plug hole, guys. Oh, 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 see this thing here? See that there? That is the drill. When I was at primary school, they used to teach the dental nurses on these things, I remember it. And they spun that slow, you could feel the drill bit there burning into your teeth. <laughs> Hence the name we gave it was Murder House. Look what you had to wear if you're a poor sod that lost one of your limbs. Crazy. Actually, there's Captain Hook's one right there. All sorts of weird and wonderful potions up there, guys. We've got the Spatch Foundry. Oh, look at the size of that cog. Woohoo! Gave a shit to me again, someone's just standing there. <laughs> machine shop, look at all the modern technological machines in here, guys. I suppose they were pretty high tech for back then. Steam engine, wow, cool. Imagine lugging that round, this is a portable one. Huge cogs, I'll never wear out. Dynamo. Steam driver. That drives the dynamo and gives you electricity. Wow. Look at the old crane, guys. Wow, isn't that amazing? Cold crane. Imagine that. Health and safety. Where are you? Hmm, this smells like very steamy. Class A and B, 1875. Wow. Is that cool or is that cool? Guys, I love trains, eh? Look at that, guys. The old boiler. Then by Universal Couplings to two Golden Nugget Hotel. Let's go and have a look on there. I wonder if we can get a beer. <laughs> Got the old saloon doors on it. Cool. <laughs> Listen to the old music. Like the old dance hall movies, isn't it? <laughs> Right, we've got toilets here. Let's say we do a Pete's Loo review. 
gentleman toilet. Wow, this is clean too. Look at this. So this is a little review of Shantytown, South Island, New Zealand. Look how clean this is. The water that works. We've got soap. We've even got hand towels. And we've got loop over. I give this one a 10 out of 10, guys. When we're about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so they obviously get cleaned really often. Look at the doors on these toilets. Cool. So here we have Chinatown, guys. Let's go and have a look in there. It's a bloody sink. Dark as a badger's what's the name? Let's see work it down here. Can't see any damn thing. Look how dark it is. Black hole of bloody little cut You want to adjust your eyes a bit before you go in there, mate. Can't see a bloody thing. It's a bit dark. <laughs> The old sluice box for the gold. Gold buyer's huts. Hey, maybe we're swapping gold for vegetables. The old Shantytown train. We'll be here for a few minutes, so take in the atmosphere and learn more about the dangers of the timber trains, the hauling and loading, the loss of toes and runaway lokis. Our driver and guard will be happy to show you through the engine and answer any questions you may have. So here we are guys at the end of the line of our train ride in Shantytown. Put in the comments what do you think about this train ride. I think it's the most ridiculous non-event I've ever seen in my life, but anyway that's just me. <laughs> Sit on a train, go up a bush track. See nothing for five minutes, go back again. Cool. And here's the mighty Shantytown train, my friends. Shantytown is on the site of the original gold plate. We still do find small nuggets in the sushi area, so it's now time to head to the gold plate area where our gold miner will check. We'll get into the spirit of the olden days by getting dressed up for an old time photo. You will find the photos in the Golden Nugget Saloon. Well, let's have a look at the old saloon there, guys. Run by steam engine. What have we got here, guys? Look at that. Big old power plant there, guys. Now, what do I recommend the Shantytown train ride? <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? I reckon that's the most pathetic thing I've seen in my life. See you later. So guys, that was Shantytown, West Coast, South Island. Would I recommend you coming here? Well, after you've watched the video, you decide for yourself. Would I recommend the train ride? Absolutely not. Just wasted half an hour of my life. I think it was about $39 for me to get in here. And what did that lady say? Family pass was 110 or something. And you get gold panning included in that. So you have to make up your own mind whether it's worth the time and energy, guys. Anyway, same as usual, my friends. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Once again, thanks to all those guys who brought me a coffee. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to buy a Peter coffee, the link's in the description below. I'll chuck another couple of videos either side there for you guys. More interesting places to visit when you come and see us in New Zealand. And we'll see you next time, eh? Bye.